Hi everyone, in this topic 1 on equations, I will actually be going through some of the uh, topics under equations which, are, which includes the solving of simultaneous linear equations in two unknowns. Now in this video clip, let us go through the first example on how we actually solve simultaneous equation. For example, we are given this equation 3x plus 2y equals to 4 and 2x minus 5y equals 9. Okay? So there are two unknowns here, the x and the y, and we are supposed to solve the values for x and y. There are two methods that I'll be showing to you today. The first method is this thing called substitution method. Basically, in substitution method, we're actually trying to make one of the unknowns the subject. So for example, if we decide to make x a subject from this equation 1 and this is equation 2. So from equation 1, okay, if we make x a subject, we will have 3x equals 4 minus 2y. And if we divide by 3 throughout, you get 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3 y. Okay. Then after which, right, you substitute this x value into second equation. Okay. So if you substitute into the second equation, what do we get? 2 into 4 over 3 minus 2 third y okay. minus 5y equals 9. Simplifying this whole thing gives you 8 over 3 minus 4 over 3y minus 5y equals 9. Okay? If you multiply throughout by 3, you get 8 minus 4y <coughs> minus 15y equals to 27. Okay? So we will have as 19y equals to minus 19 and hence y equals minus 1. Here. And once we obtain the value of y, we can choose to substitute into equation 1 or equation 2 to find the other unknown, which in this case is the value of x. So you can substitute into the first equation, you have 3x minus 2 equals to 4, so x will be equals to 2. Okay? So this will be the solutions to this system of equations using this method called substitution. Now let me now show to you another approach towards solving this equation, but this time around using this thing called elimination method. <clears throat> now what is actually elimination method? Elimination method is to actually try to get rid of one of the unknown by adding or subtracting the two equations. Okay? So if you look at the given equation, which we have 3x plus 2y equals to 4, and 2x minus 5y equals 9. If you have to multiply equation 1 by 2 and multiply equation 2 by 3, you will be able to make the coefficient of x the same. Right? So what we'll get will be 6x plus 4y equals 8. Okay? And for the second equation, if you have to multiply by 3, you get 6x minus 15y equals to 27. Okay? Let me call this one now the new equation 1 and 2. Okay? The elimination method tries to make sure the coefficient of one of the unknown to be the same, right? So that now you can use equation 1 minus equation 2. So equation 1 minus equation 2. And what will we get? We'll get 19y equals minus 19, and hence y equals minus 1. Okay? And once you get the y value, you do the same thing, just a like substitution method is to substitute this y equal minus 1 either into equation 1 or equation 2. Okay, so we have it as 6x minus 4 equals to 8. That is from equation 1. 
and simplifying, you get x equals 2 as well. Okay, so this example, okay, I'd like to show to you these two methods of solving the problem. Now let's take a look at the second example, okay, on your handouts. Okay, in the second example, we are supposed to solve the following sister set of equations. Okay, I'm going to show you both methods of solving this problem, namely the substitution method and the elimination method. Okay, so first, the substitution method. So for substitution method, we'll make, for example, x a subject. So from equation 1, okay, so we have 3x equals 1 plus 4y, and x equals to 1 third plus 4 over 3y. Okay. Now, you substitute this value. x equals 1 third plus 4 over 3 y into equation 2. Okay, so we will have it as 7x plus 2y equals 25. Okay, so we simplify by expanding out first. 28 over 3y plus 2y equals 25 okay and times 3 throughout 7 plus 28y plus 6y equals 75 okay. and so we have 34y equals 68 and y equals to 2 okay so that's how we do it and after you found the y value you can substitute the y value back into the equation you will have x equals 1 third plus 4 over 3 times 2 and which will give you 3 huh? so this method of course is what we call the substitution method let me just run through the other method to solve this problem that is the elimination method so we have 3x minus 4y equals to 1 that's equation 1 and 7x plus 2y equals 25 equation 2. Okay, an easy way to do elimination is to multiply the second equation by 2. Okay, so if you multiply by 2, what happens? You will get 14x plus 4y equals 50. Let me call this equation 3. If you use equation 1 plus equation 3, we'll get 17x equals 51 and x equals 3. Mm -hmm. So once you can get the x value, you substitute the x value back into either equation 1 or equation 2. So if I substitute into equation 1, what do we get? 3 times 3 minus 4y equals to 1, 4y equals to 8, and hence y equals to 2. Okay, we still arrive at the same answer using this second method of elimination. Okay, with that, I end this particular video clip. In the next video clip, I'll be going to solving of simultaneous equations with one of the equations being a non-linear equation. Okay, thank you.